At CapTrader, at the Deutsche Goldmesse, we have Terry Harbert from uh, Telesca Resources. Welcome, Terry. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about, about your company, sorry. Uh, our company, Talisco Resources, uh, we're focused in uh, gold exploration in uh, British Columbia, uh, in Canada. Uh, we're listed on the Tr Toronto Stock Exchange uh, and we're a relatively new company. We've only been exploring uh, in, in uh, South Central British Columbia for about the last two, two and a half years. Uh, but we're a very aggressive company and we've achieved a lot in a, in a very short space of time. Aggressive in uh, which element? Uh, in our exploration strategy, uh, we, we have very large land packages. Um, uh, many people talk about a large land package being uh, 15, 20, 30,000 hectares. Well, we've got about 300,000 hectares. So we're doing a large scale exploration, uh, building a large scale exploration pipeline. And we have numerous projects at, at uh, different levels of advancement right from complete resource drill out to first resource, some at discovery phase, and others that are at permitting or drill ready phase. And for which metal are you searching? Uh, only uh, looking for gold. Gold's our primary focus. And how advanced are the projects? Our, our most advanced project is, is the uh, Braylon project. Uh, the Braylon's a historic gold camp. Uh, it has a trend of about 33 kilometers along trend, and we own all the ground across that trend. We're focused at the moment on about a 100,000 meter uh, drill program at Braylon, and uh, we, we're converting a uh, estimated potential one and a half to two million ounces into resource for our, our maiden resource. Uh, we plan to finish that by the uh, end of this year, so we've got a lot of results coming in. Uh, any, any listeners uh, will note that we have press releases almost every week with drill results coming out. That'll lead us into our, our first maiden resource, our preliminary resource, which we hope to have out to market uh, end of uh, first quarter or early second quarter, so around March, uh, April next year. So the drill results are the catalysts. Are any other catalysts around? Yes, we, we have uh, two other projects that, that sit uh, at lower levels of development uh, from Braylon. Um, the first one of these is the Ladner Gold project. We acquired that through an acquisition. Uh, so again, we're an, an, an aggressive junior. We, we acquired another junior company that had, a, had an asset that hadn't had a lot of development. Um, we were able to acquire there about 700,000 ounces. And we paid about nine, $9 an ounce, so well below industry discovery average. Um, and we, we see there in the large land package, about 14,000 hectares, a lot of upside potential. And our plan is to take that uh, 700,000 ounces into a million ounces indicated or mineable and continue exploring and uh, be able to show potential for another two to three million ounces. Our next project below that is the Golden Hornet project. That's our first greenfield <laughs> discovery. And we brought that to discovery phase in the last two and a half years, so very rapidly. That project, well, we've put so far 14 draw holes into the project, um, happy to say, in those 14 draw holes, we've intersected uh, sulfide mineralization, uh, either as massive veins, as stock works, or as breaches. And we're hopeful that we'll get very good results. So far, we've received some results back. Um, and we hope by uh, the end of this week or early next week that we'll be putting out a significant discovery, which will be our third project in the list to move towards resource phase. How are you paying for it? How much cash do you have in the bank? Uh, we're <laughs> very well funded um, as a company. We, uh, currently, we've got about $18 million in the bank, which will take us right through our resource development. Uh, we have a very strong shareholder base, uh, both of major funds, institutional shareholders, and strategics. Uh, three strategic groups there. Uh, one of them, the Cisco Group, that uh, your, your, your viewers may know very well. Uh, and also New Gold, who now own 14% uh, of our company. Um, they're the closest producer to us. They're New Afton Mine, which is a large scale, or actually Canada's largest um, uh, block cave mine, uh, is within a couple of hundred kilometers from our flagship Braylon, and also the rest of the projects we have. So it's a very regional investment for, for New Gold. Do you have yourself skin in the game? I do, um, but both myself and the board and management are regular investors on market. 
Uh, I've, I've got a very regular in investment schedule, and we also participate in um, in private placements when they come on. I've put about uh, a bit over one and a half million dollars into the company of my own funds. So we all really believe in in what we're doing and following that pathway to success. When was the last time you bought on the market? Uh, I bought on the market uh, about around about two weeks ago. Yeah. So a conviction on your part there? Uh, absolutely. Um, we had a dip with the gold price. Uh, everyone will be aware of that, uh, where all of the indices and the junior companies came down. I saw that as an excellent buying opportunity. I bought up a, a lot of stock at uh, 24, 25, 26, 27 cents. Now we're trading well at 33 cents uh, with very strong volume and momentum. So uh, from, from my perspective, it was a very good time to buy and now still is. And I'll be adding to my position. And uh, jurisdiction? Uh, we're in uh, British Columbia in Canada. So we're a tier one jurisdiction. Uh, we're surrounded by uh, three or four world-class open pit mines. Uh, one of them, Highland Valley, owned by Tech Resources, is the largest copper mine in Canada. So we've got a great deal of mining infrastructure. Um, there's also the um, uh, New Afton mine owned by, uh, owned by New Gold that's at Kamloops, which is very close to us as well. So it's a, a very big mining community. Uh, and for some reason for exploration had been forgotten about as many explorers went north to the Golden Triangle, to the Yukon, uh, to the Northwest Territories. So we've been able to slip underneath everyone's noses, amass an excellent land position and really build a mine factory. We've got a huge pipeline of projects and uh, we're funded to take all those projects forward. So I imagine the infrastructure there is also great. Yes, we've got very good infrastructure, particularly around Braylawn. All of our projects are highway accessible. Uh, our Ladner project's got a four lane highway and it's actually got its own exit from the, from the motorway, something very rare in mining. There's no requirement for us to build a road across a glacier. Uh, we've connected uh, to grid power in all of our projects. Um, two of our projects already have mine permits. Our flagship Braylon could go into production within a couple of weeks if, if we choose to. We're explorationists, so we won't be putting it into production because we don't have a production skill set, but it has a lot of facilities already available. It's got a mine permit, major mines permit. Uh, it's got a tailings dam. Uh, fully functional. It's got water discharge permits and effluent permits. So the main permits that you require already in place for two of our exploration projects. And what is your personal track record? Uh, my personal track record, uh, I've been with the, the Talisker Group uh, for around about 20 years now. Um, myself, I've uh, um, studied uh, a great deal in geology and a, a professional geologist with a PhD in structure and tectonics. Um, we're a very technical team coming from major companies. Uh, myself out of Anglo God Shanti, others out of BHP, Anglo American. So we're very big company trained. We've been very fortunate as a team to have discovered over 50 million ounces in the last 20 years. So we're actually one of the uh, strongest exploration teams still currently active in the gold mining space. But uh, have you also did it before, found a project and put it up for sale successfully? No, uh, this is our first run in the junior space. Uh, and this is my first time as CEO for a company. So I've learned very fast and we've done very well in that last uh, two, two and a half years. All of the previous ounces that we've discovered made the groups we were working for a lot of money. Our objective this time is to make a lot of money for ourselves. And that's why we're major shareholders in these companies. So we can use our technical ability to bring wealth to ourselves and to our shareholders. Yeah, to the shareholders, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.